Oh jeez. Oh jeez. What's that? What's that? Oh man. Oh, it's that time, isn't it? Where they just push it in and come everywhere, huh? Savage shrimp them. Not even like fishing a flounder lure, really. I mean, I guess you can call it a flounder lure. Ever use the savage shrimp, guys? It is a great freaking lure. We gotta be careful because we don't want to get swept into these rocks. Life will not be good. What do you think? 21, 22? Okay, let's get him out of here. Whew. All right, I guess I can get this video started. I'm just playing around my rock jetty here. It's my first time fishing back in the Carolinas in about two weeks. Just started throwing the Savage Gear shrimp. We're yeah, working this two mile jetty right now. And I'm starting with a shrimp lure here. What on earth was that, guys? What on earth was that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think that thing had some really sharp teeth, whatever that was. So I'm pretty sure I got clipped by the tax man just now, or if you're not familiar with that term because you don't saltwater fish, uh, a shark. He, something clipped my Savage Gear shrimp, kind of ran at me a little bit and somehow probably flossed his uh, teeth with my bra braided line. Cruising around this rock jetty, I'm um, just on one flounder, throwing the voodoo shrimp now. Haven't seen much life since I uh, got paid a visit by the tax man, so I don't know. We sure have a lot of fish under us though. What's that? It's the flounder. be a short one nothing like the other one actually he's gonna shake off for us ooh, ooh, ooh. using this rock jetty for cover Got it. gotta love a good shrimp thump though this is the voodoo shrimp three inch this is what we caught that big sheep set on uh, about a month ago I recommend you check this video that video out if you want to know what the deal is with the voodoo shrimp Just chuck that here this is like 10, 15 feet of water. There's definitely and a lot of like humps and dips. It's not that snaggy. I mean, unless you're really casting into the rocks for the most part, you know, the snags aren't that bad here. Stack with flounder here, isn't it? This one's pretty big. I saw a shadow of him just now. Oh no, voodoo shrimpers, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, I have to keep moving. This is a really a good one for a shrimp floor, huh? One flounder. Uh... It's definitely a good one, man. What do you think? I don't want to measure them. I'm guessing that's a pretty good one the good thing about this kind of rock jetty or rock formation basically here I'll catch every inshore fish I have All right jetties are great for that and there's been like a lot of life on the bottom here leads me to believe that's been likely sheep's head that's a drum I think Maybe it's, I hope it's not another flounder. Oh my gosh. You guys are everywhere. I came back. Just catching like one or two flounder a trip. Now I'm catching, uh, I've been fishing for like an hour. I've got five fish. Our, our size limit's typically uh, 15 inches, which is, um, as you go out further north, they get larger. So we would have had four keepers by now for sure. But uh, a couple over 20 was nice to see. I'm sure, if you fished a, gul uh, a gulp or live bait right now, you would have a field day. 
honestly. You would have a field day here, probably. That's probably flounder under bait there. Every cast right now. All nice fish. Alright guys, I guess the, the voodoo shrimp crushes the flounder. It's not something I messed with much. Alright, another decent one. Well, if you like to flounder fish shallow, pelican, I'm sure you're listening. You want to catch flounder shallow. Voodoo shrimp, man. What a lure for them. Really, it is an incredible flounder lure. So I've got a lot of streaks on the bottom on my sonar here in like eight feet. I was kind of assuming there were sheeps that were black drum, and that's why I've been throwing this voodoo shrimp for a while. And I'm starting to think, it might all be flounder. The original purpose or intent of today's video is I wanted to take this voodoo shrimp, throw it along this rock jetty because it's loaded with sheep's head. I mean, it's got numbers of sheep's head. Usually they're kind of small. There are some big ones too, but it's all sizes. I kind of want to see if I can replicate what I did a month ago on that bridge. Well, my name is Elias. If you're new to the channel, I kind of just got that one going off like that. Um, I was throwing those savage shrimps at first picked a real nice one on that um, and then I just kind of combed along this whole rock jetty for an hour or two tons of flounder best absolutely covered them let's leave those guys alone um, see what else we can do out here uh, biggest one probably around like 22 21 somewhere around there um, those uh, savage shrimps are pretty good uh, they aren't great at deep water fishing though but like in that two to four foot range they are money and anything a little bit deeper um, I was throwing that voodoo shrimp which went about I'd say I was fishing at about the 10 feet of water uh it weighs a quarter ounce some nice fish were eating that too a lot of smaller fish were obviously going to be in the mix with that I live in North Carolina here are flounder seasons two weeks uh this year last year was 45 days and then the year before uh they just closed it kind of like around September there's a lot of I'm not the guy to talk to about the politics of it but you can learn all about it by just doing some searching but if you are somebody who gets the flounder fish right now i'd say those voodoo shrimps are pretty good just they're good lore to have for to cover all the bases all these shrimp lures you know if you work the areas that don't get that much fishing pressure because they're kind of shallow and kind of hard to fish i would say you'll usually be able to pick off flounder with uh you know in one to five feet of water it's some decent fish you might not see doormats where you are um, here we get some real big ones on the shallows too. You'll usually find keepers, no issue up shallow. Um, and those voodoo shrimps are good for that. And especially if you live in an area where you got, you know, speckled trout. I really wanted to see if I could get a sheep's head again like we did a month ago. I want to leave those flounder alone. I think I just learned that's covered in flounder. I was hitting them up with this. That's blue crab procure uh, because I thought I could get a sheep's head. The other thing is, you know, why am I not fishing live mullet yet? Maybe I'll start fishing them on corks and floats, keep them a little higher off the bottom. Uh, I really don't want to start gut hooking those flounder as bycatch. It's just one of the main reasons I don't even want to put a gulp on. It's just kind of like a, start gut hooking them, feel bad. You know, all those fish today released fine. Uh, let me get out of here. Thank you guys for watching.
I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, there's links in the video description, everything we use, the voodoo shrimps, savage shrimps. Um, they're good lures, man, I'm telling you.